Recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA, it's The William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Junior Dancer. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Brett Erickson. And now, here he is. The Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. Mike, hold on. You're not recording? You haven't been recording this entire thing? Because we're now recording. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Ooh, all right. Because I, I, I think I made some questionable so statements. But... <laughs> and they'll never know now. No. We'll know. Try to yeah, start we it over know. Again, Guys, naturally. you're recording now. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thanks. How did y'all, what did y'all think of uh, Mike when you walked in? Was he nice? Yeah. He's kind of a dick, but <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He was nice. He was super nice. Y'all were both in traffic. We were, everyone was in traffic. Yeah. Everyone was in traffic. Uh, <laughs> we were talking. We smoked a blunt in the car right before this. Yep. Genevieve and Marcus, thank y'all so much for being <laughs> on the show today. Thanks for having us. We were just talking about robots uh, <laughs> being able to program school shooters because they like the school shooters and it turns into maybe kind of like a love story thing. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's scary to think about robots being able to program people like that. Yeah. Like, what's the algorithm look like for a school shooter, though? Yeah, that's got to be a contributing factor. Like that's like pre-programming. How come you never hear people that want to commit suicide or suicidal people never cross paths with mass shooters? Isn't that like supply and demand? Yeah, that'd be perfect. Yeah, get a bunch of people that want to kill themselves and some school shooters. Get them together. Yeah, in some sort of building you rent out, Make and then happen. the guy can kill all the people that want to get. Oh my YMCA. gosh, that's a business idea, y'all. That is it. That's it like shark tank. That shit, bro. That's an escape room where you don't want to escape. Yeah. The whole point is no. <laughs> yeah. You can't get out. You don't want to escape. Yeah. And you can't escape. Well, they have assisted suicide in Switzerland, but I feel like a much more American version would be like assisted suicide by school shooting. Yeah. Because then the school shooters get out of their system. The people who want to die die. What who's lo- who's losing? The Kevorkian Community Center. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? The Kevorkian. Is that guy still around? I don't know. I don't know. Robert Kevorkian. Divide the round. <laughs> Ooh, fair enough. Ooh, yeah. Oh. You know, Walt Disney, he's under Disney World. You know what I mean? I know what his head is, Just isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Is there? Is that See, a, that's going to happen with the robots. Does the robots really are going to find stuff like that and have the technology to bring them back. Yeah, do you think that's going to work? Or they just wear our skin because we wouldn't know. They easily could. They could be around right now. Yeah. Mike could be one. <laughs> I've never seen him in a pool. Yo, oh, shit. Whoa. Yeah, robots can't get in pools. Okay. They Wait, Mike, have pool. you ever been in a pool? Allegedly. Alle- oh, he's a robot, <laughs> dude. Are you That's a... robot talk. Yeah, allegedly. allegedly. <laughs> like, lawyers are robots because they talk like that. I know. They never swim. Fucking programmers. They're all, they're all fucking robots. Is skin waterproof? God, good question. Yeah. Mike, do you have the answer? No. <laughs> it's not waterproof or you don't have the answer? The second one. <laughs> you don't have the ant? Hold on. He don't want to give up his secrets. He's wearing skin. What is it when you're like, yeah, you're, you're wearing skin right now, aren't you, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> his skin. isn't waterproof. Oh, Ooh, yeah, his isn't He's waterproof. A robot. We got good skin because we're. He was just humans. looking down at his skin, touching it with his <laughs> robot fingers when we had. Na- National Geographic. <laughs> National Geographic says skin is waterproof. Oh, okay. You heard right. it here first, okay, you know. but he kind of read it like a robot too, you know. <laughs> yeah, National Geographic. <laughs> yeah, it was like Siri quick. How quick? I know he has a laptop over there, but like I don't believe anything he says. He found that in his database. Yeah. Yeah, his fucking database. We were talking earlier, so you got Genevieve <laughs> a penguin out of a claw machine. Yeah. Super hard. I worked with the robots on that one. <laughs> yeah, that's a notoriously hard game. That's I a know. robot claw you use yeah. to get the prizes out. Yeah. Damn. I think the robot was like, this guy needs this. 
Yeah. Because I think normally, like, when it's a kid, they're like, fuck this kid. This kid needs to learn struggle. This kid needs to like, Was that at the beginning of y'all meeting, or when did that happen? It was pretty you... early on. It was That's like great. six it was months. A couple years into it. Right? I thought it was like. <laughs> <laughs> not, a couple, not a couple years. Maybe, maybe. I thought it was six months. It was October because it was your sister's birthday. That's sweet. Which is also your birthday. Yeah. Really? Same yeah, birthday. Yeah, it's day apart. one day apart. What are y'all's yeah. birthdays? Easy to no, remember. My sister and his, my ex wife and I's birthday was a day apart too. Yeah. yeah so. Oh, really? What are the chances? <laughs> what are the chances? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And then the, what are the chances? Oh, my gosh. What are the chances I get the claw thing, too? Yup. That's. They're it, notoriously it, hard. It made yeah. up for a lot that day because his mom makes like keto treats. And your mom's German, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. And she made something for us to take to my sister. And they didn't let us bring it in because people bring in edibles and stuff. And they it's an adult place and they don't want people to get too fucked up and shit. So oh, really? Yeah. Alcohol is completely okay. Did you tell them that it was keto? Not they don't give a fuck. <laughs> These people didn't care. It was the bowling That's alley. Really yeah. It, it was, was like, like a, a bootleg Dave and Buster's type of situation. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it was fucking, yeah. We but they wouldn't let me bring, I had like this whole little keto cheesecake. Would you have to throw it away? No, or we was left there it a in the car. We left it okay, in the car. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we left it in there and then we ate it after by ourselves. Love it. <laughs> Without her sister. <laughs> well, how come? Did something happen with the sister? Or she just <laughs> wasn't around? <laughs> She took a couple pieces and we killed the rest. It was like, nice. happy birthday, too. We're in a parking yeah. lot, right? The party's <laughs> over. Is that, we're like, by the way, like we have this. I like how we yeah. end up being sketchy about it like they were drugs. <laughs> like, after a while, like. You still got to yeah, get some. It was good, though. It was good. Most My mom makes some good are. keto stuff. Like, nice. She does. Yeah, I met your mom. Your mom has a full-on German accent. She's from Germany, yeah. <laughs> yeah, from Germany. Yeah. I was born there. I moved here when I was a little kid, though, so it's all good. So what do you have, dual citizenship? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. What does that even mean? You could just go to Germany at any time? Well, uh, now I can because the vaccine mandate got lifted, but there was a good point in time where I was like, I can't even go back. So, But now I guess I could. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Seems expensive right now. Have you ever been Genevieve? Not to Germany, no. Are you gonna go? Yeah. Are y'all gonna go? I want to take her. Yeah, I don't know when. See, the timing's been shitty for a while. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. I don't know yeah. when. To... I, I want to know. I need to learn more phrases. He's not the best tutor and teacher when it comes to you know teach people languages and stuff. All <laughs> I know is impatient. how come is he not? Hold on. Do you know German or do yeah. you, are you fluent in German? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> really. Yeah, All I know yeah. I guess that uh, makes sense. You were born there. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, I've tried to teach you. Actually, you speak it pretty well. When like, all I do is tell people <laughs> "cheers" and "I love you." How do you <laughs> say that? What does it sound me, like? It's gonna get me to parties, but probably fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna be cheers, fucked up at all you. the parties. <laughs> it's a fun place to party. Okay. All the beer halls. You yeah, can probably man. get fucked up in a beer hall. Is that I, a German thing? Yes. I do want to wear a, a dwin dwindle. Yeah, I want to wear Dindu, one. Yeah. I want to wear one. That's the the dress, the like the Oktoberfest October dress. Those. A leader so hose in. What's that? That's for the, the guys. guys. Yeah, that's for the dudes. I don't have any. I'm not from Bavaria though. Like Bavaria is like southern Germany. That's like Texas of Germany. Is your oh, mom? that's funny. No, she's not either. She like then just. just Dress she up. bought a dress. She That's bought funny. a dress because she was going to Oktoberfest. She's like, I'll Love buy a it. fucking dress. That's sweet. Does she still wear the dress just around? <laughs> no. <laughs> this does no. Thing. When she's making her treats. When she's making her treats. When yeah. she's making her keto treats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just go home. It's like a little fairy tale. It's like a little... <laughs> Actually, most of the time, she's somewhere like... Phys doing some physical activity, like outrunning all of us, making us feel very shameful about it. She's ourselves. very active. Love it. Really? I don't know if that came before the keto or the keto spawned that, but either way, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's too much for me. Do y'all get along, Genevieve? Oh, yeah. she's. I mean- Yeah, she, she seemed like a nice lady when we <sighs> briefly met. <laughs> God, do you yeah. have COVID, Genevieve? No, but she she makes <laughs> me like always work out some type of way, like once a day, Does like she? something. And I need the pushing because you know I need to work out, but it's like it's it's yeah. cool, you know. When my mom, if I'm talking to my mom and her mom, his mom comes up, she's like, "Mom, it's like where's she at today? On a mountain?" I'm like, <laughs> oh, "Really? <laughs> That's funny." Am I actually she probably she's scheduled is. for that? Yeah. On Thursday? <laughs> That's so funny. So, she yeah, she like she's cross country skis, which is like the worst skiing. Like you're not even you yeah, gotta do all hard. the work. Yeah, she does that, bikes and runs and stand Damn. up paddle boards. Love it. Where is she? In She's Austin? in Michigan. No, okay. she lives in Michigan. So yeah. When I we was went picturing back there. Germany this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing all that stuff in the mountains of she, Germany. Well, she went back like 
2019 maybe she got uh she went over and uh probably did all i don't know what she did over there i wasn't asking questions i was like yeah. you do do what you want to do you're an adult but whatever so wait so was that a good uh was that a good it was a good move getting the penguin winning the penguin that <laughs> night. how are y'all's he's not over. and i wonder if y'all still have it y'all it's probably somewhere still have it. It. we brought it down it's here in an apartment i know it is I, we're gonna have to find it after it's in the closet do you have a bunch of stuffed it's animals? It's a gay penguin. William likes stuffed animals. I have you heard of squishmallows? That's what I'm asking. No. Squishmallows. They're like they're at Costco. They're, they're a at... kid thing, oh, and he has shit, a bunch of squishmallows. Dude. I love he them. He just I'll got a cinnamon on. roll one. Yup, it looks like a cinnamon roll. Eric, it... actually, I don't think you should be saying. All is this that stuff. is this a pillow? <laughs> it's a big pillow. I don't okay. think you should be like an animal. saying all this shit. <laughs> it's tell going us, too far. Tell us more. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, I have Has four... he ever won you a penguin out of a claw machine? I'm not good at claw machines. Nobody is. <laughs> That's why nobody's I'm so impressed it. by it. I, I got lucky once. Damn. You know what I mean? It's the lottery, and I won it, and I got a fucking penguin, dude. Look, there's Squishmallows. Yeah, they're oh, real wow. comfortable. Wow. He has like we got a, five we... of them. Yeah, I got. We have. He's a, a thirty-two inch. That's kind it's of big. Spooky, it's bro. big. Dildos or what are we talking? Squishmallows. Those squishmallows. Okay, thirty-two inch dildo. That would be. <laughs> that, just laying mind. around with my squishmallows and my dildos. <laughs> that would be. Just cuddling them both. Trying to come up with the computer program that, yeah. that gets the uh, school shooters together with the robots. I wonder if we're, that literally could. <laughs> yeah. Could happen. I don't know. I'm glad that we're trying to solve this. Like, yeah. I feel like nobody's really putting solutions forward, you know? Nobody's like, talking about it. No, we're yeah. trying, and I promise you, I think, Genevieve, what you said about getting these the mass shooter people and people that want to kill themselves, if you could get that group together, <laughs> that tank. literally is a shark tank hey man, sounding Get thing. a patent Got lawyer. a network market, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. got a network, got a market. Keep it simple, Logistics. <laughs> what is the branding for this, though? Ooh. Uh, <laughs> like a skull and crossbones. Suicidal school shooting. Shoot, some of the S's. A lot of S's. S's. Right. A lot of S's in this. Hmm. Suicide. Suicide school shooters. Suicide Sweet. school squad. I don't know. Sweet squad. Just suicide Sweet squad. squad. <laughs> Just steal the name suicide squad. Suicide like, why not? Squad. <laughs> that would yeah, be the yeah. first already... lawsuit <laughs> against the company. <laughs> but <laughs> but the it name. would propel your branding <laughs> through the roof. People would be like, wait, what is this suicide gotta, squad? Yeah. Can I, <laughs> can I ask you a very deep question? Yeah. <laughs> What's your thoughts on Jurassic Park? Well, first off, if that ever happened, I don't want to be one of the people on that island. <laughs> what are those people thinking being on that island where it could maybe even happen? Where it could maybe even, what's his name from Seinfeld? Remember when he steals that thing yeah. in the Barbasol can? Yeah. I watched a video of a guy playing a video game where you're that character <laughs> and you're trying to not die with the Barbasol can. Really? Yeah. I watched, it's 24 minutes on YouTube and I watched the whole thing. Oh my God. He's gosh. getting chased by, it's like a 1998 game. That's it looks like funny. shit. I was from a while ago. It's That's old. so funny. It was fun to watch. I was scared watching it. Yeah, I love Can watching I ask it. From, there's five of them, right? Five movies? They just came out with the sixth one. Okay, there's six movies. Yeah, I knew it just came out. Mm. Not to like, Spoiler alert for your fans, <laughs> but like, what? Wait, is... Spoiler alert: They make dinosaurs. Ears. I don't yeah, know. Hold on. Watch out! They're there. What? What? What were they trying to like? Just some really cool science fiction? Like, okay. So the premise is John Hammond is a billionaire, right? Mm -hmm. And he owns an island. Which stop me if you've heard this story of a billionaire <laughs> owning an island before. But rather than pedophilia, he decides to clone dinosaurs on the island. And because they a found park. a mosquito they in did. the amber. Yeah, they found a mosquito that had dinosaur DNA. And yeah. he was like, let's make money off this. At the end of the day, somebody's trying to make money. It was money. Yeah. It's were they money. trying to make a theme park from the beginning? I don't remember. Yeah. Or they yeah. were just doing yeah, it was, for zoos or something. It was a, well, a zoo's a theme park, right? The theme, Ooh, the good theme is animals. You're right. Fair enough. The theme is. Right, yeah. I used to love getting drunk at this. <laughs> oh my gosh. I miss getting drunk at this. Where was zoo. your favorite place to get drunk? Oh man, oh, backyards, rooftops. It's so funny. Last night, somebody offered me cocaine for the first time since I've kind of stopped okay. doing it. 
One of the people up in that room last night. It was so funny. Just the guy who's <laughs> real intense. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I saw some of that when I was cleaning up. I saw, oh I was my like, oh, gosh, shit! It was so funny. I mean, for a year ago, I would have been like, oh my god, mm. fuck yeah. The last was, night I just had to say now, and he's like, oh sorry, I didn't know you were an ex addict, and I was like, what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about, <laughs> ex addict? <laughs> Or so I was like, sh- I was, I kind of went along with him. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm just not going to do it, okay? <laughs> and then I felt kind of peer pressure, but then I, I did it. Nice, nice. Okay. Yeah. Still love drinking out on a boat. I was, That's... I was never really on it, but like, I would always uh, fantasize that I was like in Vietnam and I'd be smoking my cigs, <laughs> drinking just on some boat in the war, or just there. Good question. Yeah, was I actually <laughs> were you thinking? The, were you just I was vacationing in Vietnam, or good question? No, in the war, like a wartime scenario. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> drink, I miss that. Drink. That's why we lost the war. I'm pretty sure. I know everyone was fucking drunk the whole time. <laughs> so is Westworld basically Jurassic Park, but just with human robots? Ooh, good Kinda. question. There's some been good questions on here, Mike. What do you either. think? Yeah, it's the same thing, but worse. Were you even listening? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that's a good question. I that's know. That's a robot answer, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but worse. <laughs> it's so generic. They could apply to anything. There, there are parallels to both. That's right, uh, dude. Okay. Correct. Correct. <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> yes, Last World is a film. No, it's a TV show, right? Yeah, but like, so should good? you be mad at technology overpowering you? When the leaders and makers of it know that the possibility of that can happen and they just can't help themselves and has to play mad scientist. But that's what oh that's what's happening now. Yeah, we're asking for it. It's scary. They just it came out with the Google thing that it like talks like a real human and people are saying yeah. it was sentient. I don't think it actually realizes what it really is, but it's so smart that it could totally trick people. And I think that is just as scary. Do you think there's ever, like, if AI becomes sentient, there's going to be AI that's also autistic, which I feel like would be most, could happen. most AI is going to be kind of autistic at and the beginning. That's why they're going to be getting the school shooters. That's yeah, why yeah, yeah. That could this be is... part of the story. I mean, that's why. Mm. But it could happen. What do you think, Genevieve? Do you think mm-hmm. eventually the compute were going to make them too smart? Yesterday or like a couple of days ago, I saw a flavor of White Claw. That was, yeah, what was that? that was uh lemonade strawberry. Ooh. Sounds good. Never in my whole entire life has lemonade ever gone before strawberry. It's always strawberry lemonade. You're so right. that got me to Whoa. thinking that, you know, hey, it's cool that this dys- dyslexic people are in marketing because it's, you gotta <laughs> you have to cover everybody's bases, you know. And you so do. I, so <laughs> will AI develop that way or will it be programmed that way? Because you know. Will it just start doing that on its own, or will it be be trying to help the people who are dyslexic? Are they trying to? I'm sorry, I'm real high. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is happening? Right now? Yeah, it's strawberry wrong. lemonade. I agree. It's yeah, strawberry no ever, lemonade. I never thought. Yeah, no one ever says it lemonade, was lemonade strawberry. strawberry. I didn't pick up on it when you said it though. And the can was shaped like a peppermint. <laughs> shaped like a peppermint. It was colored like a peppermint. Gosh, see, oh, that yeah. sounds so good. Just out on a boat <laughs> drinking those fucking things. <laughs> strawberry lemonade. <laughs> Dude, just spiked strawberry lemonade. Lemonade Ooh. strawberry. Mm. White Claw. I never did White Claws that much. I don't know. I I, I was a beer guy, but Dude, yeah. were you a White Claw guy? Yeah, I totally got to where I was drinking those seltzer things. Also, the oh, strawberry shit. lemonade. I remember we went to Vegas one time because it was pretty close to L.A. We could just drive there and we played these slot machine games on our phones. I've been playing a bunch lately. <laughs> where it doesn't cost money, but you can end up getting like cheap rooms and stuff. But we- oh, oh, that's the prize. Okay. Mm-hmm. We've gotten so many free rooms at all the MGM brand hotels. <laughs> yeah, I nice. love it. I can't quit playing them. I brought that up because I cannot quit playing y'all need to tell me to stop gambling is so scary man it's so scary it's so scary oh my gosh <laughs> she loves getting people to start gambling and then just she'll leave and then i'll run away and get, she'll get all the gambling addicts together <laughs> what do you start them with any dice game i'm like, you know what I mean? like <laughs> it doesn't matter i don't know why dice specifically but i like so starting funny. shit <laughs> and it. then running away she'll play one Love round it. 
win or lose, she'll be like, okay, see you guys. And then all these <laughs> and then all these gambling addicts are just There's sitting people there. People off who can't help themselves. And I'm like, that's so funny. Self control. Yeah. <laughs> It's like getting the people together, like the business yeah. idea. You're naturally getting these people together, it's Genevieve. You. you know, she's a bit not, of an organizer. You know, it's not Damn. what your country can do for you. You know what I mean? It's for sure. I say that all the time. Mike says that all the time. <laughs> he was programmed. To say that. Yeah, Mike was programmed. To... Well, at least we know he's an American robot, right? If he were a Chinese robot, that'd be scary as fuck, dude. And how are you sure? <laughs> yeah, he's Mike. He's programmed what kind of... to say that. He's programmed to say that American JFK shit, right? Right. Maybe like, the Chinese did that. I like hamburgers and football. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like the voice that says, "My money don't jiggle, jiggle." <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Eric is on TikTok a bunch. I hear that fucking song <laughs> all the time. Jesus Christ. <laughs> do you ever think, because I feel like you're closer to that world than us. Do you, do you are you, how you feel? <laughs> about what? Strawberry lemonade? <laughs> what world are you talking about? That world. Westworld? No, like... In, like things being popular on TikTok. Forget it. He enjoys you know it? TikTok. Yeah, I mean, I'll watch like, it from when, my phone. Like, he's yeah, not. I'll watch it from uh, Erica's phone. I mean, it's always on. Uh, so I love I'm, it. I'm addicted. Damn. To TikTok? Just yeah, all so kinds good. of stuff. Wow. It's the superior app. That's what Erica says. Well, there's everything you've ever. Oh my gosh! There's some guy who bought some house and it has this big pit in the house, <laughs> and he's making it into an eel pit. Jesus Christ! And they electrocute you, right? They're sweet now. They eat worms out of his hand. Yeah, they're these little eels. I think normally eels electrocute you. They shock you. This guy's made yeah. an eel pit. That's crazy. I do watch a guy take care of a big turtle. No, do you? Yeah, yeah, that's a similar thing. <laughs> like he just feeds a cactus and watch it fuck other turtles. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> turtle porn. Have I been watching turtle porn this whole Damn. time? It sounds like it. That sounds oh, good dude. though. Turtle porn? Damn. I, I'm just I, thinking of like a like a chocolate turtle oh, and right. porn. I don't know why. God, <laughs> the wonderful chocolate turtles. I love those. Little things. caramel in the middle. So Woo! Good. Has some nuts. What kind of nut? It has what some porn sort of doesn't nut? have some nuts? You know what I mean. <laughs> what are you doing? What? All right. I actually did see a video of a turtle having sex with another a nut another <laughs> another <laughs> turtle recently, and its penis was all crazy looking. Really? When it was trying to get to the female turtle's thing, I guess. I think most animals are weird. Their things are weird. They might think our penises are weird, though, too. Yeah, I wonder if a turtle thinks a uh, human is weird when it's watching human porn. I wonder how many turtles watch human porn. Man. Not enough. Probably not enough. Probably not enough. I don't Have think you so. ever gotten real high and just thought about all the studies that are out there being researched that we don't have any clue about? Because that could yep. definitely be one of them. Yeah. I was watching this. How many turtles are watching human <laughs> porn? <laughs> They're putting in billions of dollars trying <laughs> yeah. to Our figure tax dollars at work. Yeah. <laughs> Turtles watching human porn. Yes, just scientists watching human Whoa. porn with the turtle cage. <laughs> And no, the no, no. They're the watching. higher ups come in. They're yeah, like, "What are you doing?" No, no. The doing? turtles are the ones watching this. Actually, it's <laughs> Who's not the, um... disregard my. Yeah, no. It's hand. the turtles watching this as the study. It's not us watching it. That's genius. You ever see that uh, movie? Who's the guy who's the leader of Taken? The lead role in Taken. Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. He, yeah. He played a scientist where uh, he studied sex and like just basically got a whole bunch of people to have all different types of crazy sex, including his wife. And like one of his like Weird. assistant like dude assistants, he was like, oh, "I gotta try gay sex now because I'll be a hypocrite." And then the and the dude was like, "I'm kind of tired of gay sex. So I'm gonna just have sex with your wife." And then Weird. like at the end of the day, they hold hands in the forest. So what is that movie? Called? Plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Wait, who's Professor holding West. hands in the forest? Yeah. Him and his wife after Liam all they've Neeson been through. and the wife? Yeah. Oh. After everything. So it's kind of everything a feel was good for story. Science, I'm saying there <laughs> might be studies out there. What's that movie called, I wonder? What's yeah. that movie? IMDb. Well, yeah. Hey, Mike. It's called IMDb. <laughs> <laughs> it's also like a website, I think. <laughs> That'd be funny if it's called IMDb. <laughs> 
Oh my <laughs> god. Liam Neeson is a sex psychologist or something? That is so funny. I'm like 88% sure it was him in that movie. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. It's probably a different white guy, by the way. Is that him in the movie? Yeah, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> that's Batman. That's yeah, that's not Batman. Batman. <laughs> that's not Batman at all. That's not the, that's not the Batman movie? No. <laughs> Star Wars. Yeah, what's his name in Batman? It no, that's him in Batman. I agree. That looks like him in Batman. <laughs> there was a part in Batman where he went to the mountains and shit. Yeah, but he didn't have a fucking lightsaber. He Honestly, had a lightsaber of Batman, I thought. I if he did, that, Batman would have been more badass. Yeah. If he would have right, trained yeah. him with a lightsaber. <laughs> I thought that green was this. Oh, no, that's you funny. It looked like the so guy in Batman. Oh, well. 87% sure that. It was him watching people fuck. Yeah, 86% okay. sure. I'll be honest. I didn't believe those Taken movies. I didn't mm. believe Liam Neeson had the ability to go after, I think I watched the first one maybe with some buddies or so, I don't even remember, but I remember thinking, I don't believe this. <laughs> yeah, I think I watched it on a plane. And Did I was you? like, yeah, I was like, this is, uh, it seems like France, but then they do Taken 2 and you're like, how'd you get Taken again? Yeah, how's it a video game It's now? like a fool me once, you know, take me once, fool, fuck you, take me, <laughs> take me twice. I, like, how are you getting Taken again? Yeah, this dumb bitch daughter just keeps getting taken. It just and reminds me of the Patrice O'Neill bit where basically if it's a, not a white baby or white missing a white lady, then it's not nobody's going to make a oh. search party for it. So They should yeah. do black yeah. taken. That just got me thinking about my yes. dad. Black my dad taken, would be like, dude. Idris Elba, that would be great. I'm going to smoke this and be real sad. I'm going to miss you. <laughs> <laughs> and just let you get taken. <laughs> oh, shit. I wasn't even thinking that. Black taking it to the dad's just like, well, fuck. Okay. I didn't think that. So that's that's, that's how my movie. dad tried to cure like suicidal thoughts for me. Like he just told me to smoke and don't do that shit no more. Like to be grateful. How and was it? Was that a good, generally positive thing? Or how was that? I don't you know. Do I've that. always, we didn't got, I don't know. We'll have that conversation when we, when we get yeah. there. When we get all the good know what's in the world yeah hopefully what that god is cool with you smoking weed i don't know what god is cool with to be honest yeah, <laughs> i really yeah, don't yeah. know and he put it he put it out here yeah i would think weed is probably all right genevieve why are there so many I buzz think... kills in the world then because humans are involved yeah. yeah. God, we watched the fucking what was that weird guy's name jeffs warren jeffs warren jeffs he was Keep part sweet. of yeah, oh my gosh, what he was he? part the, of some fundamentalist Mormons. Mormon thing, and he was just oh, bad. Shit. But what I'm saying, the buzz kills, there's just a bunch of crazy people out there. I don't think it's the actual weed's fault that there's a bunch of nuts out <laughs> I there. I think it's fake weed's fault. Yeah, spice, be careful dude. with spice. I smoked that one time, it was awful. Is that anything like what they used to do back in the day, K2? I think yeah, K2, spice. That Is that the same thing? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Did you ever smoke that? I, I did smoke K2 in college. Really? I did. How was it? It was dumb. Yeah, I remember feeling weird. It was very dumb. I don't think I've ever smoked it. And you see the videos of the people like overdosing Freaking on out. it. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. And then the high goes away too and it just felt it just felt dumb. I know, I know. Yeah. That's how I felt with Coke though. Like I would do Coke and then it would go away and I'd feel dumb. I hear ya. I'd yeah, also yeah, be yeah. hammered. Every time I did Coke, I would be fucking <gasps> Trash to the Bless gills. You. Yeah. Just sauced. And then I'd be like, now nah, this seems like a good idea. Never done it, but I did do ecstasy. How was that? I was also high, so I didn't know the difference. <laughs> oh, really? I, you know, I was just really hoping that day, one of those times, like, it, I just thought a good time was not going to be had at all because it was just so much drama happening moment by moment by moment. Yeah. You ever know that the problem with hanging out with other couples sometimes is like that drama couple? And you like hanging around them because it makes you feel a little bit better about yourself and your situation that <laughs> yeah. you're in. You know, so it was a lot of that. And and plus, they were the party house. You know what I mean? Love so it. We, we just was like, you know, at least we're not acting a fool. High five. For you know, sure. but we're like, the fact that we're here with all this. And then later, mm. like, everybody was like dancing and rapping to themselves and all types of weird Were you shit. at all or you were just chilling? Huh? Were you at, like dancing or were you? Yeah, I was trying to have. I was just, I was just shocked that it, we made it 
to this point. Like there was a wall that was punched. There was a mirror on a car that fell off. There was arguments. I was just like, oh, yeah. So I don't know if this is the drugs or is this is this just yeah? It's a weird ecstasy experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't do psychedelics in the hood. <laughs> I did mushrooms in the hood once. That was fun. Yeah. Was yeah. oh, that where in Michigan? Yeah, in Detroit. It was. I was by. And myself. that's where y'all are from, Detroit. Yeah. Well, she's from Detroit. I'm from the suburbs, but yeah. I yeah. Was, I was in yeah. Detroit. I did. Yeah, and I did. I did mushrooms with Kevin Smith one time, and we watched a Louis special, and it was it was great. It was a ton Love of fun it. doing doing fucking shit in the hood. I don't know. Maybe I did. Whatever. <laughs> Genevieve, what's he talking about? <laughs> 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 I'm kidding. <laughs> Yeah, the one time I did ecstasy in Denver, Colorado, I was with my buddy and he lived in like some communal art space and we took it and he had this horrible BO, I remember. And it was this <laughs> tiny space we were in watching these techno videos on his laptop. And I was like, this is horrible. Damn. Like normally people are taking it, having a good time, feeling all good. I was just in such a weird environment. I was like, ah. Get me out of here. I'm not having fun. <laughs> it was pretty bad. How long did it tri- did you trip for? I don't know. It was hours. And I remember eating uh, like half of one of the things thinking I'm going to just eat half in case if it's too strong. And then yeah. what, some guy came up and he's like, you didn't eat that whole thing, did you? Like after I ended up eating the other half, and I was oh, like, shit. "Yeah," oh, shit. he said, "Oh, those are real strong or something." So that immediately got me in a weird panicky, yeah, fucking yeah. thing in my head. Then you're in a sweaty room watching fucking EDM videos. God, you gotta be at for the concert, hours, man. I know, I know, dude. I had a buddy in college who would take acid and watch music festivals on his TV. <laughs> I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> then I won't talk shit about it. <laughs> no, what are you saying? It'd just be so much better actually doing it. I would think thing. so. I don't but know. I mean, at home you got bathroom access, you know. I got to imagine. Go to, yeah, like yeah. raves and stuff. I've been to a lot of raves sober just as like an 18 year old to go dancing with my gay bestie. Okay. And all the kids on drugs would just be sitting on the floor. Like they paid a lot of money to like get dressed up their ticket and they would just be sitting the whole night looking crazy. Yeah. They don't, they're not moving around much. Okay. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Have you ever done acid before? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I don't know. Oh, I know. I, can, I know. I can totally feel more comfortable. I've done. I did two hits one time right when we met. We were doing some. I have a bunch of liquid acid. <laughs> I you know. Guys ever she, want. she sprayed my damn mouth twice with the stuff. <laughs> and I was just. <laughs> oh, my God. I was so happy. I was just at Erica's place. If I was out, I would have. It was just a very intense thing. I was glad to be able to like lay down. Yeah. <laughs> if I was somewhere, it would have gotten bad. I do like tripping at home. I'll give you that. I don't know. I, I guess I take Ooh. back what I said earlier. Tripping. No, but I'm sure like out on the beach or something. Yeah. Like that would be a picturesque. Yeah, like I would like to be like out on the beach and, like yeah. And do it. Yeah, because we've be done fun. it in Vegas too and he wasn't enjoying it. Woo, it got to be too many in people. The casino. Yeah. 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 Oh, fuck a casino, dude. No way. And I kept on seeing the same I loved weird it. skinny little guy. We literally, I kept seeing this guy everywhere and then I was thinking he was the devil. Because we kept running <laughs> And he into was him. talking to everybody. It he was the everybody. weirdest thing. Dude, what? But did he work there? He was like this no. nondescript white guy in like an awkward weird. outfit. Martin and, Screlly? And we kept running into him. It was so Damn. strange. It yeah. was so strange. And William's strange. like, I think he's the devil. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was the devil. Kind he might have not been real, dude. He might have, you know, like, you ever done DMT? No, I've the, done the salvia, little... though, where okay. it's totally... <laughs> do you see well, people on that? Do you see are... creatures on that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that the was the hobbits scariest. or whatever. We bought that from the smoke shop yeah. in Memphis. When what? I was in the 11th grade, you could legally buy it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that was, you were seeing stuff that wasn't there. Well, maybe the acid, you were seeing the skinny guy. Wasn't could there. have been. Maybe. I hope not, or it could have been me going crazy. <laughs> that's the other fear that you take stuff and you start feeling crazy it's like oh this is permanent yeah I've never had that thought but I know a lot of people that have that's good you have it I'm, yeah I'm glad that's a good thing <laughs> have you Genevieve have you ever tripped oh yeah do you uh, like I it don't... do you ever feel do you ever start getting nervous well I've been to the mental institution like over eight times so like yeah. I, there's a whole different levels to trip you know what I mean there's like yeah. trips for fun and trips that ain't so fun you know yeah. what I mean 
Some of the times I was in and out there and they were like, you know you were just here. And I was like, get the fuck out of here. I was. (laughs) Oh, damn. Hey, how y'all doing? Yeah, nice to see you. How you been? You know, how's the kids? You know. Do you have your strawberry lemonade yet? (laughs) Lemonade strawberry, please. (laughs) Yeah, lemonade strawberry. it's so natural. That's so, it's, it's unnatural. Yeah. I didn't think anything right when you said it, but now that you said <laughs> strawberry lemonade, it's totally lim- strawberry lemonade. Yeah, I like Kalana Pinas and, you know. Kalana, Kalana Pinas. Pinas. Dry Canada's and, you know. Ooh, some dry Canada. <laughs> Dude, I'll fucking get a dry Canadian. That sounds fun. What's I used to like the cherry the ones. deal, eh? <laughs> 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 Yeah. Wait, what was the Kalana Pina? Pina Kalana. Oh, <laughs> she's swapping them all. I know. I got the second one, but then I and then I was just trying to go along with it because I didn't want to seem like a dumbass. But then I was just thinking about it. Hold on. Oh yeah, Pina Colada. I imagine that used to be very popular when the song was out. You know what I mean? Because yeah. like you that's a have... wonderful song. It just makes you. <laughs> Don't you love that song? The people are in a fight, <laughs> and then they get on the personals ads. And then they answer each other's personal ad. What are you talking about? Is that what that song is about? The Pina Colada song? Yeah, the Pina Colada song. Do you like Pina Colada? Did you know that's what it's about? No, what? what Did you, Genevieve? It's an ad. Are you? Yeah, (laughs) a personal (laughs) ad. (laughs) No, it's a personal (laughs) ad. That's what the song is. Y'all didn't know that? No. It's like a love song. (laughs) Do it's like a make, love song. Oh, he's saying, do you like making love at midnight? Do you like? Yeah, that's part of the personal oh. ad. <laughs> it's part of the personal <laughs> ad because they're getting in a fight that and they're like, work. okay, I'm going to meet other people. And but the, then they respond to each other's personal ads. Well, oh, Mr. Backstory, what the fuck? Mr. Where, Backstory. Is he, where is he now? And <laughs> what's he up to? Was he successful? Is that Jimmy Buffett? Yeah, stocks? they're still together. <laughs> is it Jimmy Buffett? still together. Who no. sings that song? Uh, Rupert something. Well, Mike, who sings off. that? <laughs> with that? I think it's Jimmy Buffett. I don't think it's Jimmy Buffett. Does he um Rupert something? Did Ru- he have Rupert Buffett, his less known Buffett, his much less known brother, yeah. Rupert Buffett. Rupert Holmes. Rupert Holmes. Fuck, you were right. Yeah, the Pina Colada song. That's a wonderful song. That used to be a good one. Drake, I like getting drunk listening to that one. I thought you were going to say Drake's version of that. Song. <laughs> I was like, first of all, Drake would totally make a version of it. Yo, do you like pina colada? That would be funny. Getting lost in the rain. <laughs> Just fucking Drake singing that shit. That would be good, man. And it's so sweet. Yeah, they answer it because it's kind of a weird personal <laughs> ad. You like pina coladas? Yeah, getting lost in the rain. That would be that a, one of the. Lines? That would be a great sketch. Like just someone reading it, like reading the lyrics, but just not in a musical way. Just like, do you like pina coladas? Yeah, getting lost. In, okay, getting lost in the rain. Uh, making love at midnight. Okay, I like that one. That's okay. And the taste of champagne. Ah, there it is. I do like champagne. I think but, champagne is one of the things I miss the most. Like, because it's just. How long have you not been drinking? A year and a half, almost. It'd be two years in August. But nice. uh, why'd you stop? You were just drinking too much. Oh yeah, dude, is you drink- drinking too much, Genevieve? <laughs> it was scary. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> it was scary. Yeah, Erica it was not can good. probably. I kind of wasn't doing. I don't. Yeah, I wasn't doing great. You're at a year. <laughs> Yeah, and some yeah. change. like a month a or something. Hell yeah, dude. That's yeah, man. Like, so get, what happened? You just had to. You were just like, okay, I gotta well, stop. Well, during the pandemic, we're at my mom's house, and I'm just getting blacked out every night in her basement playing Xbox, like the original X, <laughs> old Xbox, the old one. <laughs> yeah, and till four in the morning, just like screaming, yelling music, and she comes down and like, "What are you doing?" And I'd be like, "Oh shit, I'm blacked out." Oh, okay. And after yeah. like three months of that, I was like, I think I should probably make a. <laughs> make it change so yeah i stopped what were you drinking on when you were blacking out down in the basement just 24 cores lights you know just beer more beer bush light a little oh, labat nice. some a canadian beer kirkland labat. vodka oh kirkland vodka by the way that's like the one thing you ever fuck with kirkland vodka it's been like 20 bucks and it's great it was 13 in michigan oh, and it was like nice. fucking this big i knew they had a liquor store but yeah, I yeah had they had it. in la too you could get it in la 
But uh, yeah, the Kirkland vodka. I go to I would go to Costco. I would get a bottle of Kirkland vodka. I get a thirty six pack of Molson Canadian, and then I get a, <laughs> and then I get an eighteen pack of Heineken because sometimes I want a Heineken. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what is that? Fifty fucking beers and a and a handle of vodka. Yeah. Go through that in like three days. That's would you good. drink any Genevieve? He would get upset if I did because that's more beer and stuff he could be drinking. Did so, I really? Sometimes. Wow. Like if it was if it was like if it was like maybe like a six pack left, I'd be like, Yeah, let me just have a beer, you know, blah blah. And it's like, you you drink the beer? Da, 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 da. Yeah, and I yeah. get, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Yeah. Yeah. God I think damn. I would get mad sometimes about I would have to Well, hide. I could never get to the drinks quick enough. They'd already I'd be like, Oh, I had one. If I sit, <laughs> he finished the whole <laughs> babysitting pisses pisses you off. Yeah, I couldn't get to them quick enough. He already finished everything. You still make comments about my drink babysitting, even though you don't drink now. That's like, so every now and funny. Day, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's just chilling. <laughs> yeah, let her Genevieve right. chill. She likes her margaritas. <laughs> let Genevieve oh, chill yeah. with her margaritas. Rita Margus. Rita Margus. <laughs> yeah, the Rita, Rita Margus. Rita Marga. <laughs> get a Rita Margus. That sounds like a feminist author. <laughs> Rita Margus. Rita Margus. She sounds like she don't take <laughs> no shit. Mm-mm. That's a fifth wave feminist, and she hates everybody. Dude, <laughs> she fuck. She's Rita pissed. Margaret. Uh, Marcus and Genevieve, do y'all ever mess with your pubic hair? Or is that a bad question? Or should I not ask? <laughs> or is that a very inappropriate question? I was thinking that right when I asked that. I, I mess with it occasionally. More than my beard, actually. Which is crazy. Really? Yeah. I <laughs> I won't get into what I do. I'm not getting into what I do. You don't even want to know what I do. Genevieve, you don't even want to know what I do. <laughs> but it's all because of Manscaped. I'm able to do it because of Manscaped. Uh, oh, say, can you see my beautiful balls? <laughs> I don't know who wrote that line, but that's, I guess, fun for July 4th. Oh, say, can you see my beautiful balls? <laughs> well, you can if you join my OnlyFans and also use Manscaped. Um they have the lawnmower 4.0. It's a really great thing. It trims all of your hair. Uh, they have things for trimming your face, your balls, your <laughs> penis shaft. It's waterproof. It's waterproof. It has an LED spotlight. LED spotlight for those hard to reach places. <laughs> That's the only reason you need that LED spotlight. It's for those hard to reach places and you can do it with the LED spotlight. No other company uses an LED spotlight. Manscaped products are beautifully designed to have your body looking good from head to toe for the beach, the pool, and late night fireworks. Use late a- night fireworks. That's another July. F- it's almost July 4th. <laughs> do y'all like fireworks? I like early morning fireworks. Ooh. Fair, fair enough. Use the code WMS to get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. WMS, 20% off. If you're getting the thing with the LED spotlight, WMS. The lawnmower 4.0. Lawnmower 4.0. It has the LED spotlight. If you're getting that, use code WMS. Please. <laughs> you have to. If you're getting the thing with the LED spotlight, WMS. Unlock your confidence this 4th of July with Manscaped. Balls so beautiful, you'll have the Statue of Liberty blushing. Okay, Erica, please. (laughs) Come on. Is the Statue of Liberty a lady? Ask her about her pubes. Yeah, I wonder what she's looking like down there. She came alive in that Ghostbusters movie. She's French, so she's probably got something going on down there. Yup. (laughs) (laughs) She might be that. It's time to shine up your Liberty Bells by going to manscaped.com. Get 20% off and free shipping with code WMS. M-S. 
Wait, so do you still have to drink stuff? I still have to constantly be drinking stuff. I drink non-alcoholic beers. That's how I quit. I would eat a bunch of edibles oh, really? and drink Heineken Zeros and just get fucked up in my basement, and I felt the same. Still playing Xbox? Yeah. Was he nicer to be around when he wasn't boozing real hard? <laughs> I don't like this delay. This is way too long of a delay, dude. Yes. Oh, it's bad. Yeah, that it's was bad. a lie. The only thing is, like, you know, it's harder to be social. So, like, you know, I'm not the partiest animal in, most anymore. And so, but I like to hang a little bit and mm -hmm. just, but, you know, sometimes that's tough because, you know, people do get drunk around you and you just, you know, Right. I hate drunk people now. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't feel I'm not as social. Like I remember at the comedy store when Kill Tony was going at the comedy store. Yeah. That's when I would sneak in my vodka and I would always have <laughs> cocaine on me. I would I would literally and I was off on Monday, Tuesday. <laughs> so I would literally stay till it ended pretty much every till time. Closing. But till it closed and yeah. I would have a great time. <laughs> but now here, I mean, I, I barely even go out of the green room. I don't know. Yeah. I, I'll. I'll walk around some, but I totally, I don't feel as social I'm at not, all. I hate still out. to some extent. I still some. enjoy interacting with people and everything, but it's yeah. totally, it feels different. Well, yeah. you gotta, kind of. Yeah. You kind of like in a different boat. Cause like everybody wanted to come up to you like, mm -hmm. oh, you know, you did great. You know, it's like, it's mm -hmm. a lot of, you know, and drunk too, you mm -hmm. know, and drunk people get very touchy, you know, and, yeah, and everyone wants to buy you a drink, and it's like, ah, yeah. how many times can you say no before you don't? You know? I know, and it's totally fine. I mean, I'm used to. I think it's been good me being around a bunch of people drinking all the time, just yeah. so it's not like something that I see every now and again. I feel like it would just make it different. Maybe. I just, don't, I don't know. You got sober know. in Austin. I had to the first week or two. Well, that's what I'm like. I don't think I could have got sober here. Like, mm -hmm. if I would have been drinking when we moved here, I. Yeah, I saw like Rainy Street. I was thinking, oh, Rainy Street's Never gonna been. be fun. To... We went a couple of times. This seemed kind of cool. It's just a bunch of bars, like in these old yeah. houses. Because I've been looking for like what's the hot spot gay clubs, and people tell me Fourth and Rainy Fourth, Fourth Street has the gay clubs. Okay, yeah. So we went to a gay club in L.A. when we were out there, and Which I got one? the Abbey. Maybe? Yeah, classic. I went okay. there one time too. That's the best one. I went there and I was like, I'm only going to spend thirty dollars. I'm not going to get drunk, and I spent a hundred eighty dollars <laughs> and got blacked out drunk. And that then they had a cake shop there, right? There's a little cake shop, so I was like, I got to get some cake. And then we're walking out, and some gay guy uh, sees me walking with Genevieve, and he's like, Oh, you know, you got a queen with you. And I start yelling at this guy. I fucking know that. I'm just like, Oh god, aggressively yelling at this guy like, you think I don't fucking uh, know that? Justin found a girl in the <laughs> club and was trying to get laid, so he saw him going off and took her the other way. Yeah, our, our roommate, <laughs> our roommate <laughs> fucked. A, he got it with an NFL cheerleader that night, a chick. Oh no, my really god, yeah. trying to fuck that up. He was and, like, let's go this way. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. thought he thought like I was gonna ruin his his sex, but uh, <laughs> me and the gay guy was looking at him like, I was a mess. Yeah, it was a disaster, dude. It was not good. That was a, one of my worst LA nights for sure, dude. Oh my gosh, how long were you yelling at the dude? <laughs> Until she dragged me to the car. So, oh my gosh. A couple minutes, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> was, yeah. I don't remember much of it. It was mostly told back to me, and I vaguely remember getting like pulled down the street. <laughs> whatever. So yeah, I had to quit. I had to quit. <laughs> well, that's good. It sounds positive, and y'all need to find that penguin. It's somewhere. It's in the closet. Yeah, it's a gay she penguin. She knows like exactly where it is. Yeah. That's such, it's, she doesn't know it <laughs> It's in the closet. That closet has a lot of stuff in it, all right? It's it's in that top corner. Is that where it is? Yeah. Yeah, we're never getting What else do y'all have in the closet? My sexuality. <laughs> Uh-uh. <laughs> what does that mean? She's in the closet. Oh. <laughs> I'm her beard. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. When do you trim your beard? No, I haven't in I used to and then COVID happened and I was like, "Oh, I can't now." And then we Has that been go So when has it been going for since, since like COVID? January 2020. That's the last time I got it trimmed. I had like a show at the Comedy and Magic sh Club or whatever, you know, like Manhattan Beach or something. It's like yeah, South yeah, LA. Yeah. So I was like, "All right, I should clean up for this." So I got a beard trim. And then uh did the show and then March 2020, and I haven't done it since. Oh my gosh. I know. I got What are you going to? I need... Are you going to let it go? Genevieve, what are your thoughts on the beard? <laughs> when I met him, he it wasn't that long, and then he kept it. Like he went to a barber 
But if I, I can find a good barber down here, I'll get it trimmed. I literally but. did comedy at a barber shop last night, and I was a shocked. black barber shop. Brown, Mexican. Can why have to sweat? Why can't? <laughs> It, it's an Indian barber shop because I don't I don't know if I'd go to an Indian barber shop. <laughs> Indian people have great beards. That's true. Do they? Maybe that's the one you want. Some of go them to. do. Yeah, but they don't trim them. I knew an Indian guy I used to work with who like he used to like pin it up because he was like religiously I can't trim it. Oh really? And he had to, but it was like corporate, so he had to fucking do. So some what? Shit. Do you have to trim it though to keep it going long, or you can just let I it? Just, I haven't done anything, dude. I've I actually haven't done. I I shave my head normally, and I haven't done that in two weeks. Yeah. So it's just like I got fucking hair now, but it nice. Just looks I've like... never seen you with that. I had one. Oh, without a hat on? Yeah, dude. I but like see down here, dude. It's fucking balding. I got a good yeah, hairline. Bald too. You don't have a hairline, but yeah, no shit. I don't have a hairline. <laughs> Why the fuck did you have to say that when I'm looking at your bald ass head? Yeah, no shit. I don't have a hairline. I'm looking at your bald ass head, and you're talking about my fucking hairline. Yeah, no shit. I don't have a hairline. So I'm looking at your bald ass head. <laughs> I was just saying we're different bald, dude. All I know right. we are. I agree. I okay. Agree. That's all. Okay, we can agree on that. All right. William has a little bump on his head. Oh, shit. I have a feel bubble, it, man. Genevieve. Did Genevieve, you if you it? want to, feel it. Yeah, what did you do? You no, feel it? around. Did you hit it? Isn't that funny? Yeah, I bumped it real hard when I was little. No, I'm kidding. I think it's how I was born. They had to With pull me out. The umbilical cord was wrapped around my neck. Oh, Whoa. really? So they had to yank my ass out. So you were suicidal in the womb. Yup. <laughs> Damn, dude. Yup. <laughs> you were like, fuck this. Yup. Damn, dude. And I managed to escape. See, if the robots would have been around, they'd have been like, we got to abort this baby. I know. And you would have never been here. So man. that's why it is scary thinking about robots having robots. that power because yeah. in irobot didn't they train the robots to do percentages of who was likely to live yeah like past a certain like event like a car crash the kid has a more uh i know will smith got pissed because like in the early beta days of the robots like they didn't choose the kid they chose him and now he's you know guilty for living and yeah shit will smith was the kid isn't that also John Travolta and the other guy where they switch faces? Pulp Fiction? Face off. Face off. Oh, I thought that was iRobot as well. <laughs> I thought that going? happened John in Travolta iRobot. Was nowhere near iRobot. Oh, okay. I thought that was the movie where they switch faces. <laughs> but that's face off. That makes sense. Hey, guys, you're doing great. I'm going to go to the bathroom for a minute. Okay. Were you going to Titi or Doo Doo? Or... <laughs> well, he said a minute. So... Comes out okay. A minute. Yeah, I hope everything comes out okay. Oof. God, I went to the bathroom the other night <laughs> and I had to pee real bad and then other people were around. So then I and I couldn't pee my oh, I had no. shy bladder, so oh. I had to pretend like I peed. Mm -hmm. Then I had to wait wait by the door like a crazy person to make sure they didn't realize what I was doing. Yeah, I've been there. I never had a problem until college. College got weird because you were forced to pee in the shower with other people. And oh, our, really? Yeah, like our, our dorm it was a communal lady, shower. Yeah, it was. And it was like a dorm lady who uh, was like, yeah, I can control. You know how you pee sometimes and a fart comes out? <laughs> yeah. And she's like, yeah. that never happens to me. I can control myself. And we were looking at her like, what type of magical bowels do you have? Yeah, or, what a weird thing to say. How about weird. be natural, love your body, pitch. That's why yeah. I sit yeah. down to pee, because I never know. If doo-doo's <laughs> going to come out of your butt. <laughs> I've had like. If I'm standing, it's not going to. But right. if I'm sitting, I, I can allow it. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Kind of be like, ah, we'll see what happens. I had a bad doo-doo in my pants problem at Erica's place during the pandemic. Oh, no. Drinking? Yeah. Yeah. No. Doo -doo Is that why you stopped? Nope. No. No. <laughs> I kept drinking you after kept that. Going. That <laughs> night and. <laughs> that <was> like <laughs> that night. <laughs> Little shit never stops an alcoholic. Like, that's the thing. It's never going to stop you. I don't know why you just said alcoholic. Okay. <laughs> Come on. All right. I'm sorry. I thought we were I'm on the kidding. same team. I thought we were I'm bald. Kidding. I thought we were alcoholics. All right. I'm kidding. I just can't get over the face off not being iRobot. <laughs> <laughs> I want to watch that again. That's a cool movie, isn't it? Face off. I've never seen either of those. Face off. I don't know. What's if the I plot saw... to face off? I thought I that was know. a hockey I... movie, dude. It sounds like it could be a hockey I'd movie. I straight up thought it was, but Mighty I guess Ducks it's not. 2 Face Off. <laughs> Faces <laughs> off. No, it. it's where they have to change faces for some reason. I don't remember why they have to change faces. Huh. I didn't get into Mighty Ducks, but I was very much into Airbud. 
That's a classic. That dog. How the hell is he so good at basketball? For a white dog? That is impressive. He's like the Larry Bird of dogs, man. They should have had a black lab. I know. They had the... What color? Golden Retriever. Was that dog really doing all that stuff? Totally. (laughs) Animal actor. It's an animal actor. It was animatronic. It's like Jurassic Park. It was CGI animatronic. Animal actor. a little bit of both. They have animal actors. Have you been to Universal Studios? It's a whole show. Yeah, yeah. they're Lassie. great. Lassie. Oh my gosh, the birds come out and walk out, and then go back, and like a a chimpanzee <laughs> it will makes come me out cry there every and... time because they're so good at it. Yeah, we went. Erica literally started crying. Crying, 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 crying at Universal. Universal. <laughs> <laughs> they're Jeez. so good. There's like a chicken, all kinds of stuff. There's Brad. all kinds of animals. Oh my god, it's great. <laughs> All right, right stuff with animals made me sad these days. We went to a zoo in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Okay. It was super, super sad. Like was well, I had a great time, but well, he was tripping and having fun. I was just looking at all the <laughs> animals like I want to say, Are you free? And then we got to the got to the gorillas. Yeah. And they just like was eating their own shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, I think a zoo probably isn't the best place uh, for animals. We but went I to know. the Siegfried and Roy oh, tiger oh, little place in Vegas, and Oof. it was real sad. Yeah, there was like a lion depressing. pacing back and forth. He definitely didn't have enough room. Yeah. It was real depressing. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Damn. Siegfried and Roy, one of the lions got one of those guys. And then yeah. COVID got the ask. other. And then COVID Whoa. got the other. Was it a tiger named COVID? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was a shame. guy named it was COVID. A Chinese tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome COVID. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I watched that Tiger King for the first time last year, like a year after it came out. Did you? It was like literally a year after it came out, and I was like, now I get it. Yeah, that show was fun. Yeah, Carol Baskins. So she we- kill her husband. Did you watch it, Genevieve? I didn't know. I don't know. Was um, I oh, thought? Oh, oh. I thought it was literally just about tigers i didn't know oh yeah there's a lady named carol baskins it's a drama talk about couples that you enjoy being around because they're (laughs) acting crazy that was a bunch of crazy ass people on that show crazy so we did a show in ardmore oklahoma which is like 10 minutes from where the tiger king place was oh really uh, yeah and in the bathroom in the urinals they had a picture of Carol Baskins in one of the urinals. <laughs> and then they had, a, I think, Nancy Pelosi in the other girl. It was a very right-wing bar. This yeah, is like peak funny. COVID. We walk in with our masks. They're like, y'all don't have to wear those. You can, but you don't have to. And we're like, okay, all right. Yeah. Great show. But yeah, Ardmore, great place. Ardmore. Ardmore, Oklahoma. Do y'all ever go up there? Do y'all uh, ever do shows outside of Austin? Yeah. Uh, I mean, we were in Detroit a couple weeks ago. Flint, actually. But uh, we we're in Flint doing a show. Cool. That was fun. We used to go to Oklahoma more when we lived in Dallas because it was like a three lot hours closer. closer whatever, yeah, whatever. I'm not driving six hours to go to fucking Oklahoma right now. I mean, unless you can get like weed there, can't you? Yeah, that was the best, dude. We got one time we were coming back from Oklahoma and someone gave us some edibles there, and we're like, "Oh, cool, we'll just you know, eat them and drive back to Dallas." And then like 20 minutes into our drive, we just started losing it. We were so fucking high. Me and yeah, every, edibles. Everyone we were scary, driving. The whole car was just. And that night, like someone at that bar had brought like a horse into the bar at the end of the show. <laughs> yeah, because they were drunk, and it's a small town. There, like, I'm gonna bring. Did my y'all horse pet the, the horse? No, no I just <laughs> stayed the fuck away. We were so high, we were like, "Yeah, is that a horse in here?" Yeah. <laughs> <We're> like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Hold like, on, yeah. is that a literal horse? Is that a horse? Like, There's a video it, of it somewhere. It danced That's happy funny. birthday for the person. Yeah, the dude had it like it doing danced? circles. Had, yeah, you know, it did the happy birthday dance. The, yeah, the horse happy birthday. Dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was uh yeah, it was fun. It's a good time, Oklahoma, man. Cool. Well, thank y'all so much. I brought y'all. <laughs> I don't want to end this on like being super super pro Oklahoma, but I don't want to shit okay, on Oklahoma. Final thoughts. I don't want to shit on Oklahoma. Oklahoma either. They were nice to oh, me. Oh, okay. All right, Oklahoma. Sorry. Yeah, what should we say about Oklahoma? Yeah, I think I've just I don't know, they have I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Oklahoma, you, you are a six and a half, seven. Yeah, Oklahoma, you're probably a seven. What do you think, Mike? Four. Damn. Damn. Oh, Ooh, that's cold, Mike. Damn. That's cold. Mike. Even with the weed? That's like robot cold. Damn. Yeah, I mean, that's robot cold even cold. for a robot. 4.5. 4.5. With the weed, it pumps it half a point. <laughs> Damn. 
Well, thank you all so much for being. Where can people find y'all? Uh, Instagram, see Genevieve. Uh, follow me. I post all the shows where I'm going to be at and catch me all around. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At Beard Von Marcus on Instagram and Twitter. So it's funny because you have the beard and Von is like German guy. Yep. Of. Well, I mean, uh, so it's like Beard of Marcus. That's why. I, oh, well, which well, nobody well. gets it. Nobody understands it, but you did, so that was cool. Wait, and Genevieve, how do you say those words in German? You said you knew a couple of phrases. Oh, uh, Prost. Ich oh, yeah. Liebe dich. Oh. And... Spinkte? It's like the noodles. Oh, Spitzle? Spitzle. Yeah, Genevieve, before y'all go to Germany, you I'm have got to learn some more phrases. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. It's just, before y'all go. It's just going to be I love you and noodles. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be like, she's so sweet. <laughs> she loves noodles. Uh, but I got y'all ring pops oh, today. Shit. Thank you. Thank you, man. Here are y'all's ring pops. Appreciate it. Have y'all had ring pops recently? Not, Not recently. recently, dude. Oh my gosh, they're so good. <laughs> I've been eating them all the time recently. Oh my God. I love this show. I'm going to eat it right now. Cool. All right. Well, thank y'all so much for being on the show. Thanks that was for fun. Having Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737-471-1098. Never miss an episode of The William Montgomery Show by subscribing to The William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and see him live at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas every Monday night. For more of me, Brett Erickson, check out Issues with Andy on Patreon. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at IBrettMyPants. This episode of The William Montgomery Show was recorded at Permanent Record Studios right here in the heart of Austin. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery and Brett Erickson. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh. Who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.